Hello everyone. Today we are going to perform the harmonic analysis for the bass excitation. That means response of single degree of freedom system excited by the harmonic force at support. That means uh, at support the uh, some harmonic force is applied. So in order to perform this analysis, we have taken a reference example from the book called Mechanical Vibration by G.K. Gruber. And the reference example is like that: the support of the spring mass is vibrating with an amplitude of 5 mm and a frequency of 1150 cycles per minute and the mass of body attached is 0 0.9 kg and the spring has a stiffness of 1960 newton per meter so we have to calculate the amplitude of vibration of mass and the amplitude that will result if a damping of 0 0.2 is considered in first case there is no damping and in second case a damping of 0 0.2 is considered so here the theoretical calculation has mentioned so natural frequency 46.7 radian per second that is 7.433 hertz and spring frequency 19.16 hertz so the amplitude of vibration of mass without damping is 0 0.886 mm and with damping is 1.2492 mm so we are going to validate this result with the ANSYS results so we are going to perform the base excitation in harmonic response in ANSYS so first of all open the ANSYS workbench like this so I had already opened the workbench and I had already performed this experiment and again I am going to do this so first first go to model click and drag then go to harmonic response and drag to the solution so that the model and harmonic response will be same then go to geometry right click new design modular so that it will open the design modular window that will be green sign okay so change unit to millimeter go to extra plane look at sketching rectangle back so we don't know the dimension so in order to know that first of all go to there so here the mass is 0 0.9 kg and we know that the density of structural is 7850 kg per meter cube from that we can calculate the volume so volume equals to 1.146 in 10 power minus 4 so from here also so I'm considering the body mass body as a cubical body so that volume B equals to L cube and the L equals to 48.58 mm and redesign. So go to dimension semi atomic. So this one is 48.58 mm. This one is also 48.58 mm. Go to extrude. Sorry, go to extrude. Sorry, sorry. Go to extrude. Delete this one. Sorry, go to extrude, extra plane, sketch, apply, and the depth is also 48.58 mm and generate. So that the 3D model is generated. So it will have the mass of 0 0.9 kg. That we are going to verify on the module. Double click to module, it will open the mechanical epidural in our bench. Okay. So from here we can we can give the different boundary condition, mesh the body, and we can verify the properties. So, mm, so here go to module geometry, expand it, solid, and go to properties. You will find that the mass is 0 0.9 kg. Okay, and the moment of inertia is same because of cubical body. So click to model, right click, insert connection, then go to connection, right click spring because we are going to introduce spring on this surface. Okay, so for scope is body body to body ground because we are going to apply spring from ground to body mass body. Go to mobile scope selection the surface apply. So the spring is introduced now. The spring property is spring stiffness. How it is spring stiffness is given as a 1960 newton per meter and converting it into the newton per mm that is 1.96 newton per mm so i'm going to give it as a 1.96 newton per mm mm then we, we need to uh, we need to align this spring in such a way that it is perpendicular to this surface so x is to minus 48.58 by 2 so x is aligned i need to align z also equals to 48.58 by 2 this is also aligned so for y is the length of the string so you, you can give any but i am giving the same for easy reference so the string is aligned 
then our party job bar meshing is left so generate mesh that the mesh will be uniform then go to the analysis setting insert remote displacement take one size apply and since it is moving in y directions left y is either free others are zero other zero okay so okay <coughs> then load the solution solve so after these solutions we are going to the various modal frequency okay <coughs> so here we are getting the six modal frequency why we are getting fixed modal frequency because here in analysis setting the default by default there are six modes to find you can change it to one two three whatever you want by default it is giving six mode frequency so here the natural frequency we are getting is as a 7.427 that is 7.43 that we got as theoretically here 7.4 43 is the natural frequency so the natural frequency as same the first case is validated then our main concern is on the harmonic response for the best excitation so go to harmonic response analysis setting insert displacement why i am taking displacement okay first go to analysis setting i'll explain this so range of frequency so here you can you can give the range of frequency to any and like hundred thousands or any whatever you like but i'm taking it as a 191.5 why because uh, it is giving the exact result on the screen okay uh, whatever you take like 100 200 300 it will also give the same result but that answer will be on a range and again you need to calculate but uh, so after calculation i'm getting 191.5 is the best one so i'm taking is this one okay and damping control here a damping ratio in first case it is zero and in second case 0 0.2 so you need to change this in second case but i'm taking now i'm doing for the first case okay so it is zero then displacement so why i'm taking displacement for uh, for the best excitations you are not it is very difficult to give force to the base or support so that's why we are, uh, that's why base excitations can be performed using the either displacement or execution method so in the questions the displacement of 5 mm is given that's why i'm taking is other displacement if the acceleration is given then i i can, I can take the acceleration from here okay either acceleration or displacement so i'm taking displacement so here the best excitations change no to s so that it will convert to the best excitation so boundary conditions that is longitudinal ground to solid so magnitude 5 mm is given and the direction you select this direction y axis moving in upward direction this one okay then solution frequency response deformation now additionally i'm adding this stress also so frequency this one geometry selection this one apply direction y axis also here this one geometry selection direction y axis Shall. So 19.15 is the frequency by the harmonic response by applying the harmonic force at the support we are getting as a frequency is 19.15 without without that uh, without without harmonic force we are getting the frequency as a 7.42 as a natural frequency but by applying the harmonic force we are getting the frequency as a 19.15 uh, okay 19.15 from theoretical also we are getting at like without harmonic force 97 implement 43 and with harmonic force we are getting 91.6 that will be similar so we need to check the displacement whether it, we are getting similar or not so that that matters okay so see here so go to frequency frequency response and click to result where we are getting that maximum amplitude that is 0 0.88529 so theoretically also we are getting the same value like um, 0 0.886 mm and from ANSYS also, we are getting the result as a 0 0.88 mm at a 19.15 hertz. Okay, so here, see, at 19.15 hertz, there's a maximum amplitude of 0 0.88. Okay, so here in theoretical calculation, what we got as in 19.16, we are getting this at 0 0.86. That means, see, there is a uh, in ANSYS, we are getting 19.15, see, so it's a 19.16 little bit fluctuation. So that value is also little bit fluctuation here same as same applies in ANSYS so so if you take 100 frequency 
that will be the difference and you will see a little bit different that is the case i am taking as a 191.5 so that you can easily figure out what is the difference now again change to the go to another setting and damp damping control okay sorry this one this is not mine this is previous so again uh, again go to analysis setting so you are damping control now i'm taking at 0 0.2 see what is the difference after giving the 0 0.2 go to solution solve once i introduce the damping so without damping there is a frequency of 19.15 hours and the natural frequency will be same but uh, the displacement will be different so no so at 19.15 hertz okay what will be the dif uh, what will be the deflection see here amplitude that is 1.2511 mm so it means that if we are introducing the damping then the maximum amplitude of action will be increasing at a certain level okay so it is increasing to 1.25 mm without damping it is 0 0.88 so there is a change so in this way we can perform the base excitation like this is one so oxid like this this is the graph so we can understand the graph also so here this one in this way the base excitations experiment can be validated using the ANSYS so it is one of the important things that you need to do analysis and you need to consider so that you will get the better result okay so these are the list of frequency these are the list of frequency and these are amplitude based on this so if it is 38 if we are taking 38.3 this will be this so the range matters i am taking the range up to 191.5 so this is given this one the minimum is 19.5 okay thank you for watching this if you like this video subscribe and if you want how to know you can contact me on the mail that i have provided on the link below thank you so much